Picking a good versus a bad product can make or break your business. This is one of those magic pills where you actually do that right and everything else falls into place. You can do everything right, but with a bad product, you're not going to make it work. What are we going to talk about here? Number one is I'm going to tell you the main criteria of what a good organic product is. Number two is I'm going to tell you exactly how to find these winning products. Number three, I'm going to show you a bunch of examples of good and bad products and we're going to analyze them together and I'm going to explain to you why they're good and why they're bad. And in the end, I'm going to give you a couple of product research hacks which are just going to blow you away. Let's get started with the most important. What is a good product? Number one is it has a super strong virality factor okay it's very easy to go viral with it by just showing it let me show you an example So this product by itself is super irrelevant to you. However, it has an extreme wow effect on people who are into collecting cars. If you talk to this specific niche and go viral in that niche, it's going to go nuts. There are two types of products, mass products and niche products. Niche products are generally converting much better if they go viral inside of the niche. Mass products, which are just for everybody, are easier to go viral with, but they're making you less money per million views because it's not super passionate people seeing the product. So later on, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of extreme virality, but it's not paired with the next criteria, which is do people actually want it? There is a bunch of products which are going super viral, like this one bag which Mikey again sold. However, nobody wants this bag. It looks ridiculous. It looks dumb. It's a funny product to look at, but it's not a cool product to wear. So let me give you an example of a product which people actually do want. However, it doesn't have a virality factor. So there we go. This is a really cool product in the sewing niche. Are you into sewing? Probably not. So you're not going to find this cool. However, to people who are in that niche, they're going to love it. Now, don't get me wrong. If you just show this product, it's not going to go crazy. It doesn't look extremely cool. It's again, just for a specific type of person. This is something where if you actually do go viral with it in the right niche, again, you're going to make a lot of money with it. But it's difficult to go viral in the right niche because it doesn't have this crazy wow effect. The next thing you need to follow is, can you film videos of the product by yourself? Or is it super difficult? for you. Let me give you an example of a product which is very hard to film. Fuck up, that boy a bimbo, getting low, they playing limbo. Tried to slice me, I went Kimbo. Op hoes get turned to widows. He was stretching shit for shit show. Now he riding in a limo. I'm the fiddler on the roof. I'm Are you gonna go viral with it easily if you're gonna be able to pull this off? 100%. However, you have to go in public. You have to do pranks. You have to run around in this costume. It's really difficult to actually film this on a day to day basis. And that's why it's not a beginner friendly product at all. On top of that, it's very, very expensive. Let me show you an example of a product which is super easy to film. Introducing the Woody Hoodie. It's a hoodie for your Woody. So this thing, obviously, it doesn't require any skill. You just need a cucumber or some dick looking thing. You basically film this video, good transition, good lighting. And that's basically that. Keep in mind, there are products which are easy to film for some people and more difficult for other people. So for example, this RC car here is difficult to film with if you have no clue how to do the RC car navigation. But if you're really good at it, it's actually pretty simple to film with. It. So this is something which is going to give you an edge over your competition. And this is something more advanced where if you can actually pull something off, which is just possible for yourself and not possible for other people because they don't have the skill you're going to eliminate your competition same thing goes for female products if you are a girl and you're filming nail products it's going to be much easier for you to do that because 90 percent of the dropship community is guys if you have a girlfriend who's willing to film her nails for you it's going to be easier and this is the most important criteria you have are you going to be able to film a good video with it when we select products for our students we have other criteria and it's way more sophisticated we don't want to overcomplicate it because for you it's going to be impossible to to detect this criteria. We see the entire market. We see every single product which is out there because we have so many students. We have so many people doing product research. We look over so many seed sheets and that allows us to see what's saturated, what's not saturated, what's converting at what rate. And it's just much simpler for us to spot winners. These more sophisticated things I'm not going to mention here because it's just going to overcomplicate things for you and you're going to get lost. So let me go to the easiest method to find these products. And actually, I'm not even going to do that because Mikey again just filmed the video where he explains it perfectly. So play the clip. 
by scrolling on TikTok. So what you do is you make a new TikTok account and you search for hashtags like TikTok made me buy it, my wife's boyfriend, all of that. Then you watch those videos, like, comment, share, do it for like 30 to 50 dropshipping videos. When you go back to your For You page, all you will see is dropshipping videos. Now you just scroll, scroll, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. By the way, this product took me over 24 hours of scrolling to find. So don't expect to find something good in five minutes. So this is the main method of doing it. You scroll for hours and hours and hours and you will just find things. However, there are also a couple of other methods which are extremely good, which I'm going to cover in a second. But before that, we're going to make a little quiz here. So judging by our three criteria, extreme virality, do people actually want it? And is it easy to film for yourself? Is this product actually good or is it bad? How does it work? Well, that's a great question. And we have the answer for you. We've invented the first ever Batman hook, which allows you to climb walls, trees, defy all laws of physics, and even swing like Batman. You won't fully understand how much fun you can have with it until you try one yourself. That's why a lot of people ask us. So did you take your guess? Is it good? Is it bad? The answer is it's terrible. This is a shit product. Why? It's not going to convert the right way. Thinking of our criteria. Do people actually want this? No. The only way how you can sell this is as a stupid toy. Toy means that it's going to be kids wanting to buy it. Kids don't have credit cards. Kids are broke. Kids have to ask their parents. Their parents are probably going to say no, or they just forget because they have to save it and later on show their parents. And this is kind of a cool product to look at. Yes, this is a pretty fun product and it's not that difficult to go viral with it if you can film the right videos. Now, keep in mind, it's not that easy to film videos for it because you have to go outside and do all these crazy things with a thing and you have to actually make it work. I'm sure you have to have like 25 attempts to make it grip and you're going to encounter a bunch of other problems. But generally, the main actual issue is there's no use for this product. Nobody wants this, except for kids, and you don't need kids. Now, keep in mind, there are some cases where you can actually sell a toy product to grown-ups, and you just rephrase the niche. However, this is not one of these products. Let me show you one more product where you're going to guess if it's good or bad. What the heck is that? It's a flower packing device. Yes, it's for people who like to collect flowers. Just pick up your flowers and pack it into the device. Then close it and twist so it packs the flowers nicely. Then add your plant wrapping paper and twist again until it rolls nice and tight. Now you can add it to your plant collection. So this product is actually really, really good. Why? Three reasons. Number one, it's problem solving. People actually do need it. Number two, it has a virality factor. Everybody who smokes weed is going to be impressed by this product and it's going to be super cool. Number three, it's not difficult to film. So here we have a perfect product. We have a downside and we have an upside for this. You're going to experience blocks on TikTok and on Shopify because it's a weed product. You're going to have payment processor issues. These things are going to happen because it's a weed product. The good thing about it, there's literally no other platform where you can actually sell weed products with paid ads. Well, maybe on Pornhub you can, but in reality on normal websites like Facebook, Google, even TikTok ads, you're not going to be able to sell weed products on these platforms, which means that there's a huge demand but not so much supply. So TikTok Organic disrupted the entire online marketing field. You can literally sell things like sex toys, weed products, and things like that, which were impossible to sell on mainstream media platforms. Now, let me get into the next method of how to find good products. So we have this page, which is called I Hate Dropshipping, and they literally just post dropshipping products, which go viral, which is great. Because if you follow these dropshipping exposed accounts, you're just gonna find a bunch of good products. They definitely should not be used as earrings. The pin is too thick and you might bleed out trying to connect them. Let's see how much they're selling it for. $10. Oh, hell nah. Found them on Ollie for less than $2. So this is especially a great way of finding recently viral products because they pick up on trends really fast and they just screen record and post it. The next one is really advanced. It's Amazon and AliExpress. Directly on Amazon and AliExpress, you can actually find really good products. However, you need to be a little bit more advanced because a beginner is not going to spot them. You need to have really good eye for good products to actually be able to even spot a good one from a bad one. The general plan with this is being the pioneer, bringing a product over from Amazon onto TikTok, which is very difficult to make work. However, if you do, you have no competition in the beginning. You have all of the market share. So it's going to be much simpler to actually convert if the product is selling well. Amazon products are actually selling super well because you can sort them by sales, etc. This means that you just need to find a product which is really easy to go viral with and it looks super cool and also you're going to be able to film things by yourself 
with this product. The biggest problem with this is you have to reinvent the wheel. You have to come up with your own content. You cannot copy concepts from other people. You're the first person selling it. You need to come up with a concept. That's why it's so advanced. So in my opinion, I wouldn't recommend it if you're not making anywhere between 50 to 100K a month already, but I would definitely recommend it to more advanced people. Right now, I'm going to give you a trick, which is insane. It's basically double ordering products from competitor stores. At this point, there's no real way of tracking how many sales your competitors get. There were softwares for that, but they're not working anymore. So how you can do this now, if you have a decent budget, you screen record their entire account and you see how many views all the videos have. Then you buy from their store and look at the Shopify order number. And let's say it's 2023. And then you wait for three days. You see if something went viral on TikTok. And if it did, you're going to check again. And if you see the order number went up like crazy by like five, 600 numbers, you're going to know they just made five, 600 sales off X amount of views. So you're going to be able to track exactly how much people are making off X amount of views. That's ridiculous. If you do this right and you have enough budget, you can steal winners, which are working right now because you saw it, it's working right, right, right now for other people. And you're going to be able to just copy it, replicate and crush it. So this is a really, really good hack. However, there's one thing which is even better which is letting other people who are experts look over you the products you select and tell you if they're good or bad. That's literally the best thing that can happen to you because you have no clue what a good product is. Me and my team, we saw hundreds and hundreds of good and hundreds and hundreds of bad products. We have the overview over every single student. We see exactly what's going on, what's working on. We can literally spot new winners because we've seen so many in the past. And this is something you're going to get access to in this program. You literally make a list of all the products you find, which fit our criteria. We look over them and tell you this one's saturated, this one's good, this one's bad, this one's good. And we pick the best ones. You're only going to sell the products which are actually the best with us, which is just unheard of. On top of that, we're also going to look over all the accounts you make. We look at the videos. We tell you what's good, what's bad. We give you the entire process of everything you need to know about TikTok organic dropshipping. So if you want to get started, click the link below and I will talk to you very, very soon.